if you do not receive support, then all you're really doing is uploading a diary onto YouTube. So I think I'll start off by saying how hesitant I've been on making this type of video for this channel. Uh, this is not something I really wanted to get into as a topic here, but you know, after my last upload and a couple of the comments that were left over for me over the last month or so, uh, I've really had to uh, change my perspective on this whole thing called YouTube. Now being part of that, you know, Gen X TV generation, you kind of grow up realizing how fake television is and 95, 98% of it being fake. And as I started into social media, I realized half of it was fake in the beginning. But as time wore on, uh, it seems to be that fake is what actually sells. So, you know, people are using deception and lies and tricks just in order to make money on social media. They will trick you with a thumbnail, and trick you with a title, just so that you'll tap it and start watching. There is so many of these faceless AI robot channels now, and all they're doing is reading news stories that are found on the internet, and then placing that news story that a robot's reading, along with stock footage that they found somewhere else on the internet, in order to create a video that you think is genuine, or that I think is genuine, and clicking on it to watch it. They've gotten the programming down so good that many of us are clicking or tapping on these videos because of the mind-blowing thumbnail or the shocking title that it might have, just to not even realize that the content within isn't even related to the thumbnail or title at all. Now, I've been really disappointed in the growth of Homebrew Subaru on YouTube so far this year. I put in the extra effort and made a couple various different style videos and improved my editing a little bit. And there is, you know, 50 to 150 uh, real supporters out there of mine that uh, tend to watch most of what I upload and are liking the videos and, and leaving comments and the odd donation. But overall, uh, it's really just come down to the how-to videos that I upload those are the only things really getting views and the only things that are actually building me an income on on YouTube. Now just thinking about the 9,500 subscribers that I do have, it's 0.10% worth of those viewers that are actually watching some of my videos. And that doesn't account for the millions of people that are watching videos on YouTube. And I completely understand. The algorithm is designed to make YouTube the most revenue it can. It does not care about individual channels or people that are running them. It's just how much money one channel can make over another. And that's who's gonna get recommended the most. YouTube does not care about any of these personal projects or builds or stuff I'm doing in my home garage or I might be doing around the house. They don't care. If it's not a how-to video, then someone's not gonna come along and go, I need to know how to do this click and the algorithm knows that it's basically designed around this stuff to know where to prioritize and as fundamental as the how-to stuff's been for this channel I don't really like doing it now I can definitely share my perspective on what's happened with social media over the last five years and one of the major variables is TikTok TikTok has managed to single-handedly convert social media into a 30-second commercial on television. YouTube and Instagram, they began losing so much revenue to TikTok that they've had to design their own shorts and reels just to compete with them. This created an initial problem that was heavily overlooked and what we've lost is viewer retention. Uh, people do not have the attention span that they used to have and after one or two minutes They got to go on to something else now many people do realize that TikTok is a Chinese based company But what a lot of them don't realize is Beijing actually banned TikTok from China and my personal feelings and suspicions are that China's analysts probably knew this was going to be a major problem. They kept it out of the country let it spread throughout the world and basically turn people into neurotic scroll zombies on their phones. 
So what I ended up doing was taking my latest video, which was a nine minute long video, and editing it down to 50 seconds and re-uploading it as a short. Now here's a comparison of what that video is at nine minutes and uploaded for two weeks compared to what it is at 50 seconds for less than 24 hours. So like I briefly mentioned, going forward, Homebrew Subaru will primarily be a how-to channel on YouTube now. All of my more personal stuff that I get involved with, and it doesn't really necessarily even to do anything with cars, will be over on the other channel on Detox Proxy. I believe that's going to create more of an audience that are actually interested in what I'm doing and the things that I'm talking about, as opposed to just trying to figure out how their set of brakes goes together. A lot of people would try and say this has something to do with money, but it really doesn't. Because whether a video is making 50 cents, $5, or 500 it's still making money. And here I'm basically taking content away from the channel to put onto a channel that isn't monetized. It's about the time. The time in filming, and editing, and encoding a video, and uploading it to YouTube, and then monitoring the video afterwards. I can't continue to do this for videos that really aren't doing anything. And not only that, but some of you are very aware of what's happening. Like this one comment from Canaro, it hits the nail directly on the head. And furthermore, this isn't just happening to my channel. This is like a trend going across YouTube. People just don't want to take the 10 minutes out of their day to watch a video anymore. When they used to watch five minutes of commercials within a half an hour program on television. Audience retention has changed completely in five years. Now, ultimately, I wanted to expand Homebrew Subaru into as much adventure and exploring with the Forester and camping as I did with the how-to repairs in my home garage, but I've completely decided against that. That, that content won't be uploaded here. Uh, and some of the basis for that is I, I had my Jasper trip uploaded on this channel. It was five videos but not a single one of those videos had over 150 views. And it just made me realize this is not the content for this channel and it's going to have to be uploaded somewhere else. Now, after seeing that these latest videos of me working on my, some of my own stuff is getting the same viewership, I just know that I can't continue to do that. I would rather take that content and put it onto a new channel that has 400 subscribers and getting a hundred views over there. Well, that's, that's not too bad as opposed to this channel, 10,000 subscribers and getting the same amount of views that I got my first year on YouTube. By no means am I going to abandon this channel. I just need to be a lot more selective on what it is I film and upload. Uh, YouTube works on a support system. If you do not receive support, then all you're really doing is uploading a diary onto YouTube. To give you a perfect example, uh, I pulled the 240 in after doing the clutch parts and I had a no start. It took me like three hours to diagnose what the problem was. And I did start filming it. I started filming the Noid light flashing and checking for spark and having the crank angle sensor off and spinning it and all this. And I just said to myself, fuck that. Why am I bothering doing all of this for nothing? So without addressing this any further, I just wanted you guys to realize why I might not be as consistent or as personal with the camera as I normally am. Uh, it's been six years and although I've uh, grown a very small community that offers me a little bit of support, I just can't go any further on my own and uh, I hope everyone understands. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comments, I'll see you next time.